<laughs> it is 946. It is time to imagine it. Behind the scenes with Carl Nelson, just imagine the things. I was uh, playing around with the lighter here, just making sure that I could light it, and I heard a careful, there's flammable there's stuff. There's flammable stuff here. Be <laughs> Got careful. It. Okay. All right, so, tell us about it. So Memorial Day is right here, right now, right? And people are going to yep. be firing up their gas grills. And I got the coolest thing ever from Reliance Propane over on Secor. Wow. It's a propane tank that is cut open. It's a cross section. It's a cross section. And there are a couple really cool safety features inside propane tanks. Just like in your toilet, there's like a little float that lifts up as they fill up the tank. Okay. And at some point, around 80%, it cuts off the fill port. So you can't overfill the tank. That makes sense. Okay. There's even a safety blow off valve up here. And your grill itself has a really cool feature. That little thing that you stick on, right? Yeah. This goes to your grill. Well, if you have a situation like this where the hose broke off, there's a little BB inside here that if there's a sudden gas flow, it'll shut the flow off. Oh, nice. Right? So it's the same thing that happens if you connect up your grill and you whip open the lid really fast. Okay. It's going to shut it down. Wow. Okay. Nice safety features. But all that being said, you still have to be respectful of the flammable gas that we're working with. Sure. That's why I was telling you to slow down on the I'm lighter respecting earlier. Respecting whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, uh, propane is actually heavier than air. Okay. And inside this beaker, I've got some propane. And uh, I'm going to light these candles here and, and give this little deal to you. Got these tiny little glasses on to protect me. I, think I, need, I need your lighter. Go ahead oh and light boy. that. Oh, boy. All right. I'll stand back here and do it. All right. So go ahead and take this and wave it over the top of our container there. But not in it? Just but not over in it, it. Just over it. The propane is heavier than air, so it's not going to ignite until the candle goes down inside the beaker. Okay. Go ahead and try that. Now down in the beaker. Yeah, try it. Let's see what happens. Get down in there. Uh, oh, and you lost our candles. What? All right, let's light it up. Again. I'm no good at this science. That's, stuff. No, that's okay. <laughs> let's try one I more was time to see if we can get like a kaboom. A little bit of a flame there. I think we <laughs> okay. lost. I think we lost a little bit of it. There's but that's okay. There's supposed to be a kaboom. It's there. Marvin the Martian. That's okay. You know why? <laughs> because it's light, heavier than air. Uh -huh. Okay, can travel across the room. It can find an ignition source and flash back at oh, you. That's great. why it could be dangerous. Great. Okay, that's why I was cautioning you earlier. But the other thing that's important is actually the ratio of oxygen or oxidizer to the actual flammable liquid. So I got a little demo to show this. This is really kind of cool. Inside here, just a little bit of water, okay? And I have some calcium car carbide. Just a couple little granules. So I'm gonna add it to the water. I'm gonna put the cork on top. You're gonna take the lighter that works, which okay. is this one. Right. And you're just gonna bring it over to the port when I tell you to. Okay. Okay, so what this does is when you drop it in the water, it builds up flammable acetylene gas. And what is calcium carbide? Well, just go ahead and light that for okay. now. <laughs> and when you, okay, back away a little back bit. Let, let some gas build up inside. Okay. And now bring it over and let's uh, see what happens. All right, here we go. Magic yeah. wand. Yeah. So, <laughs> cork goes flying off. But hang on just a second. That Hold almost on. corked me. We're going to add more. We're going to add more inside, okay? Sure we are. We're going to add a little bit more. I got another cork right here. We got to do this quick and then we'll talk about it. I want to build up a lot of gas inside, okay? So we got a lot of bubbles, a lot of acetylene. Go ahead and light it up. Oh, wow. Now you get simply a flame shooting out. Well, lots that's of, different, isn't Lots it? of soot, no explosion. Okay, let me just uh, turn that off here if we can. That's what happens when you connect your propane tank up to your grill. You have lots of gas inside. Okay. And the gas pressure is forced out. It's combusting with the oxygen in the atmosphere, and you yeah. get a nice flame. The first thing we did is what you don't want to do. You don't want <laughs> right. to turn the gas on to your your grass grill and leave the lid down because now you're going to get flammable gas inside ah. mixed with oxygen. You get that explosive mixture That's inside a closed it. container. Boom. Lid flies open. Really dangerous. So you don't want to try to do that. And most grills have like vents to prevent that. Mm -hmm. But again, when you're dealing with something that's flammable, you want to be respectful of its properties and kind of know a little bit about it. Wow. Just to be safe the when, you're, when you're grilling. Science of safety. We've got a little soot There's flying a little around soot the studio flying around. here as well. Hey, Imagination Station, they're open all weekend and they're open Monday, an unusual Monday opening. We are. For the holiday, we are open on Monday. Come down and check it out. All right. Thanks very much, Carl Nelson. That's this week's Imagine It. Now we're going to turn it over to Dave with sports.